What's up, guys, and welcome one more time to Winston Santos podcast. Uh, this is episode number six. Today, I just want to talk about a very important topic uh, that is about breakout. It doesn't matter if you were in a relationship that you were boyfriend and girlfriend, maybe you got a divorce from your spouse. But let's face it, when this hits us, it's going to be like a huge pain in our chest, in our heart. We can't focus in our day-to-day -day job because we're going to remember those good times with that person. Like especially when you have kids, it's even worse. So I'm not talking about because I just show some videos on youtube and talking about experience as well as human being life is the best university that we'll ever have so what to do with when we have this kind of breakout first of all it's very important to understand what happened in case that you already know what was the reason why she or he dumped you because let me tell you something most of the cases, that person will not tell you what really happened. This is just going to work immediately. Sometimes we are going to go into our emotion mode that we are going to beg and plead. But let me tell you something. That's not going to work. Especially for men. And I know because I made this mistake in the past. I beg, I plead, I promise that I change. You know... I did a lot of things, but that even work at all. In case of the women, it will be the same because everybody's different, of course. But what I want you to understand is this: it doesn't really matter what you do. The dumper is not going to take us right away because that person is going to go by some phrases. Is going to say, "Oh no, I need to be strong. I need to 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 put my." my defense walls so the donkey obviously is going to be you know very sad it's going to be crying it's going to be begging it's going to be depressed there will be you know those those emotions are are terrible let me tell you now one of the best things that you need to do is don't stay at home just go outside if you have a friend talk to that person go to the to the beach have a walk exercise do something that keeps your mind busy. There are a lot of people, uh, this is a very popular method that they say that, oh, bro, no contact, no contact by, let's say, 15 days, 30 days, one month, two months, and then that person will go back to you. No. Let me tell you what no contact really means. No contact means to cut off all communication, unless that you have children in common in that case you cannot do no contact but it's better if you focus only talking about the children school the health and all of that but if you try to be smart like asking about your, your child about how he's doing she has a new no don't do that because you know kids are very innocent and they will tell you because of ignorance or not ignorance because they are very you know they are clueless you know they don't know anything what is happening in the adult world i'm talking about if they're small case that they are teenager and so on, obviously they will know but just focus you know in you if you were overweight just lose some weight if you were having some issues making some money in that job, just try to get a new job, and so on. Just focus on you. Sometimes that person, they will go back to you because they will notice that the, the grass was not green on the other side. Maybe that person had another person and they thought that they were going to do better than you and then they, they regret and they want to go back to you. If that was the case, it's not worth to, to come back. But who am I to tell you what to do? You need to do what you, you need to do what you think is better for you. But let me tell you something. It's like reading a book that you already know the ending. That person betray your trust, 
for somebody else it's not worth going back because one makes you think that if you give a chance that person that that person is not going to do the same and even worse if that person shit on you no that's that's the end don't do that don't do that sometimes there will be people whispering in their ear of that person like you should be better without that man you should be better without that woman you know but don't pay don't pay attention sometimes there are people who are jealous that they don't have a good relationship that they are miserable so it's not worth your time to listen to to the naysayers now keep in mind no contact is only for you for your mental health in order because obviously you're going to to regret you're going to be sad you're going to cry it's okay we are humans we are emotional i'm not going to tell you don't don't do that we all go through that so just go with your with your grief just go through the process but don't stay there just make some promise with yourself try to change new way try to explore the new world because in this planet there are millions or trillions of people better than that person and what we have with that person is or you know are just good memories maybe we are going to think about when we have so you know when you go to the trip to the resort with that person when you used to hang out when you used to eat when you have intimacy so those are memories that obviously they will be stuck in your head i'm not trying to tell you erase that no they will be forever over there but it depends on you how you're going to make progress of your life by any means i'm not trying to be some kind of guru or love master telling you what to do like i said i'm talking by experience and also by somebody else's experience and that's the only thing that we need to to need in our life to learn now every breakup is different there are that end in good terms others that didn't end very well however don't get the wrong idea oh i'm just going to be friend of that person and maybe one day that person will see what they lose don't do that that's the most stupid thing that you could ever do in your life just be honest with you you know what if that person offer you friendship just reject it you know what it was good but no thank you very much i don't do the friendships eh? and just move on go with your life and that's it in the end if you were not an abuser if you were not a cheater and that person was the one that made a mistake that person will regret it but like i said that person wants to come back it's up to you if you want to accept it or not but like i said if that person was a cheater an abuser or something like that don't do it if by any chance something happens it's up to you you know it's up to you but keep in mind that no contact is not some kind of magic word like oh i'm just going to wait 15 days i'm going to wait for 20 days oh it's not working no no contact is something that you just cut off everything like social media communication honestly i don't even have facebook i don't have instagram i don't have tiktok nothing only youtube uh, spotify podcast and soundcloud those are the, the platforms that i use and obviously i am using linkedin you know for business purpose of course but that's just me and i'm trying to tell you oh you need to cut off the word no that's just me because i don't like to focus on other people's life sometimes they will be uploading stories pictures of the beach of the resource of the flight good life but let me ask you something will they upload when they are having a bad day when they don't have let's say money when they're having some problems no they will not why because people will always want to brag about their lifestyle and that's something that i don't like to go i'm you know a very not going to say a very honest but i am a very dieted person that i always speak my mind so i just want to use that time let's say reading a book 
watching maybe some anime in order for me to to get off the routine of the of the daily work and so on. But again, for the breakout, I recommend just walk, work out, do some activities that you normally wouldn't do, learn a new language, do something that keeps your mind busy. Learn a new skill, play video games, go outside with your friends, so with a friend. Even though you can talk with God, uh, meditate, you know, in order for you to know yourself. But just keep moving forward, whatever you do. Guys and girls, listen carefully. When somebody lives our life and they take us for granted, just let them go. It's not worth it. Don't text them. Don't call them. Don't show up in their house or the work. Have some self-respect. Have some self-love. Love yourself. When one door is closed, thousands of doors are open. If that person didn't really appreciate your time, somebody else will do it. Yes, I know it will hurt. Yes, I know you have pain. Yes, I know you love that person. But stop thinking with your heart and use more of your mind. Use your brain. Is it worth it that you try to retain a person who doesn't want to be with you? Just ask that question to yourself. Is it worth it? And if the answer is no, then move on. If the answer is yes, then go and suffer yourself because you're going to do it anyway. Again, I feel like Morphe when he presented pills to Neil. This is a red one if you want to know the truth. This is a blue one and you can believe whatever you want to believe. That's it. Simple as that. But I understand that even though I'm telling you, and you watch a lot of video, you will have this mindset, no, I want to get back to her. I love my children. Oh, she was my first love. The love of my life. We all experience that pain. You are not that special. That's why there are a lot of people who make some kind of horses life. If you want to get your ex back, just book a section with me or just call me and then we charge you fifty dollars, one hundred dollars and so on. So I'm just giving you this information for free. As a matter of fact, I should charge you as well. Yes, in case that you are still regretting about that and you still want to get your ex back, just book a session with me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. What I'm trying to tell you is just move on with your life. It's not worth the hassle. You are a very special person. Human beings with obviously a big weakness and strength, but you are special. So work on yourself. And move on. So, guys, I really hope that you enjoy this podcast. Keep in mind, I'm uploading YouTube, Spotify for podcasters, and SoundCloud. Like, share, subscribe. Keep in mind that I also a content creator, video editor. In case that you have some work for myself, well, and also if you want to make some kind of collaboration, just send me an email as well. So, take care. I have a great nice day. And work on yourself. Bye, bye, guys.